everyone, welcome to our Jira how-to video series where we answer the most commonly asked questions about Jira. I'm Nikki from Jigsaw and today we will have a look on how you can show the epics in your board in Jira. First things first, there are two different types of projects in Jira and depending on which one you're using, uh, there is a different setup you can do with the epics and they also behave slightly differently. So first let's have a look on the company managed projects in Jira. So if you're using company managed project in Jira, you can see on the bottom over here, each of your project is either tagged with company managed or team managed label. So in the company managed projects, you can see your epics on the board and on the backlog uh, by default. It just depends on your settings uh, of your project. So there's this toggle where you can hide and show the epics on the board. Here you can see my epic on the backlog. And if you go to the Kanban board, you can also see it here on the board. However, some people don't like to use the epics this way and they like to more work with the epics in the epic panel and filter them out from the board. So to do that, you can use this toggle and then you will be able to see this epics panel on the side and the epics won't be any more visible in this uh, backlog view, but you would all find them in this side view over here where you can expand for the more information and so on. You can also use that as a filters. Now the team managed projects are slightly different. So in team managed projects, you can find the epics as a card on the board and as a card on the backlog. So you won't be able to find them here. What you can see are the issues that are linked to these epics from this view. So the way you could work with epics or see them on the list in the team managed project is either using a roadmap view where you can quickly create the epics and you can also check on their progress or you can switch on this epic panel uh, from this epic filter that you have over here and then you would be able to see the epics in this view and you can also use that as a filter and you can also create the additional epics from this view as well. There's also an option to view more details if you would like to see the epic detail. However, on the board, even if you switch on this view, you won't be able to see the epics on the board. So what you need to do is to go to group by and then group by epic. And what you can see now is all your issues are basically grouped into the swim lines uh, under the epics. So again, you won't see the epic as a card on the board. It's more used as a grouping in your team managed project. So then you would see these groups and check the progress uh, of the issues under each epic separately. There's also an option to rename the epics in the team managed projects. So if you go to your issues, here there's epic and you can rename it to anything you would like. So for example, if I'm using this video content projects, maybe Epic isn't the best, best naming conventions. Maybe I want to use a topic instead of the Epic. So if I do that, then what you will notice is that all the filters that were saying Epic before are now saying topic. So it's much easier for people who are not very technical and don't necessarily want to use the word epic or they didn't work with the agile before, like some marketing teams. Maybe if you are getting them on board with Jira, the team managed projects are a great option because you can kind of customize them and make it more user friendly so they can relate uh, to different issue types better as well. And that's about it for the video on how you can show the epics on the board in Jira. I hope that you learned something new about the differences between company managed projects and team managed projects. If you liked the video, make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, leave us the comment below. See you in the next one.